Hello everyone and welcome to Mason Studio. Today we are going to be unboxing the Metapore Pro 3 camera. This 3D capture camera makes it easy for everyone to create a 3D walkthrough and real estate photography of any real world space. This camera is perfect for real estate agents, building managers, architects, interior designers, and everyone who wants to create an in-depth and immersive experience for their clients. And at Mason Studio, we are very excited because we have acquired this camera to be able to provide to our customers a new service called Mason Metapore. We designed a completely new website just for our Metapore service, and we even designed a new logo this is Mason Studio logo. This is the new logo we designed just for this service. And we even designed a t-shirt for our service. This shows how excited we are to include our new Metapore service to our service menu. And we will use this camera in conjunction with the iPad Pro that is supercharged with the M2 chip as the remote control for the camera. Oh, and by the way, this video is not sponsored by Manaport, is not sponsored by Apple or any company. We purchase all these items with our own money. So no affiliated links or anything. This is just intended to provide you with information about the new Pro 3 camera. So please give this video a like because that will help. So let's open the box and see what is inside. What you get is the Metaport 3, a quick start guide, the battery. When you buy the standalone Pro 3 camera, which is the one we purchased, you get only a single battery in the case. But if you purchase the acceleration kit, that comes with two sets of batteries along with other things in the box. However, you can order an extra spare battery and always have a fresh battery ready to go the crater for the battery and a lens cloth, some cables and some international plugs which are easy to connect if you are outside the United States and need different plugs. One thing to mention, the power brick that comes with the camera is a 30 watts power brick. And you can always use other power bricks but make sure they have sufficient voltage and less than 30 watts power brick is not recommended. And also the power bricks have two ports you can use either one of them. As a matter of fact, you can use one to charge the camera and another one to charge your cell phone or your tablet if you need it. Now you take the wires, you plug it into the charger and then you the USB into the power brick. Plug it in. And that's the setup. Now the smart cradle, which is this piece right here, is a very smart device. It has four lights right here indicating how much power is remaining in the battery and how much charge it needs. One, once you plug it in, it will display white lights and that means that the battery is charging as it should be. This smart cradle also tells you how much power is available when you charge it. If for some reason the light display white, red, white, red in that pattern, that means that the voltage of the power brick that you're using is incorrect and you need to change the power brick you're using if you're not using the power brick that comes with the camera. Also, if you see the light flashing from white to red and back, that means or that indicates that it's a temporary failure it probably means that the battery is either too hot or it's too cold, depending on the weather or whatever you're doing. If it's too hot or too cold, just wait a little, wait for the battery to acclimate, and then put it back on the charger and it should be okay. But if the lights flash red, 
that indicates a permanent failure and that means that you have to replace the battery. It is a permanent failure. In the bags also we will find the quick release clamp which it looks very different from most quick release clamp. It has a, a, a quick release right here that shuts down. This quick release clamp also has a built-in clutch which is a mechanism that allows you to turn the Manaport Pro 3 camera around if you need to do so. And finally, we have now the Metaport Pro 3 camera case and the camera included in the case. Now, the Metaport Pro 3 camera, it is a huge upgrade from the Metaport Pro 2. It's not just physically different, but it is a very different camera. This bad boy is very well built. It uses a LiDAR laser instead of infrared light and that is a huge benefit when you scan in outdoors because you're no longer competing with the sun's infrared light. The camera fits snugly into the case and the case has a red strap which allows you to pull the camera easily out of the case. So the camera has a LiDAR mirror which is very sensitive to the touch, so you don't want to touch it. The LiDAR mirror spins during capture, collecting high definition point cloud data. In the front of the camera, we see a lens with a magnetic cover. This lens allows you to capture 360 degrees images all at once, and it should not be touched either. You don't want your fingerprints all over the lens. Let's cover it. The Metaport Pro 3 camera is faster than the Pro 2 and it has a new 3D sensor. The 3D sensor is a LiDAR laser with a rotating mirror, which means that it's picking up 3D data from all around you. And this means that unlike the Pro 2, with the Pro 3, you have less space in the back of the camera to position yourself. The Pro 2 stops six times. The Pro 3 only stops four times. So keep that in mind and make sure that you are paying attention to where you are standing in relation to the camera so you don't accidentally capture yourself in the shot. The front of the camera has a massive lens with a super large RGB sensor for spectacular image quality. In the back of the camera, we also find the power button right here. At the bottom of the camera, we find the space for the battery right here. And this port right here is for the quick release clamp. And now let's some, make some room for the tripod. And the tripod we will be using for this camera is the Manfrotto 190X series tripod. It's a three section tripod that is great for any Metaport 3D capture cameras. The tripod is made of aluminum and it has a very nice sturdy feel to it. The legs of these tripods are very flexible and they can be adjusted depending on how high of the ground you want the camera set up. And this makes it easy to use in many different situations. This specific tripod is for sale on Amazon for $194 right now and the links to all these products are in the description below. And now, let's pop the camera onto the tripod. So, we take the quick release clamp and we screw it into the tripod very tight. Now the camera. Make sure the camera and the quick release clamp are flush. Then you hold the camera and press it towards the tripod against the quick release clamp and you shut it down and it's all set. So the quick release clamp and the camera should be flush and then you can hold it here and you press it down or you can hold it here and you press it towards the tripod and make sure that everything is in line. Now, a quick tip is to always make it a practice to rotate the camera clockwise. If you need to 
change angles or rotate the camera. This will help you to make sure that you don't disengage the quick release clamp from the tripod if you rotate the other way. Not that it's going to happen, but just to make sure that doesn't happen, always make it a practice to rotate the camera clockwise. Now let's pop the battery in with the contact points towards the front of the camera where the lens is. So, and there is a little mechanism in the bottom to squeeze in when you insert it. So we place the battery in, we squeeze, hold the camera from the top, and it's all done. Now that the battery is in, let's turn the camera on by pressing the power button, just for a few seconds until you see the Matterport logo on the little screen, and that means that the camera is booting up. And that's it, eventually you will see the Wi-Fi signal. And now let's go ahead and connect the capture app to the camera. Oh, and one thing, the Pro 3 camera have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. The only thing you will be using the Bluetooth for is for the Wi-Fi connection process. So with the Pro 3 camera, you no longer have to go into the settings and Wi-Fi network to find the network anymore. The Capture app will just do that automatically for you, which is very cool. So now with the camera booted up, I'm just going to go to the Capture app, press the iPhone or iPad button. Just above the Capture button is the Camera Select button, and it will find my Pro 3 camera, and I just hit Join, and it will automatically connect my Wi-Fi with the camera, so again, you don't have to do it yourself which is great. And even though in this little screen of the camera, it will show you how much power you have left in the battery, you will get a more accurate picture by just looking at the Capture app once you connect the camera with the Capture app. You can see very easy how much power you have left in the battery. And that's pretty much it. And as you can see, the Pro 3 camera appears to be very much off balance with the tripod coming towards the front of the camera instead of towards the middle. This camera was intentionally designed that way to align the tripod with the narrow entry point of the lens, and this is a huge benefit when stitching the 2D panels. This Metaport 3 camera features a range of 20 meters, allowing you to scan a place much faster than the previous model. An additional benefit of having such a longer range is that when you have to scan a room that has unusually very high ceilings, like 12 feet, 15, even 20 feet, its ability to pick up all that information in 3D is amazing. Please, let me know your thoughts about this wonderful camera in the comments down below. And if you found any value in this video, please give this video a like. This will definitely help to create more videos like this. And I will be posting more videos about this wonderful product and services. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.